Mayor Brown, thank you so much for drawing back the curtain and letting us see the workings of that happy conspiracy. We're all surprised that you'd be involved in such a thing. I'm Mark Andrus, the Episcopal Bishop of the Diocese of California, and it is a great honor, it's beyond an honor, to be here. I represent the San Francisco Interfaith Council, the executive director, Michael Pappas, its founder and president, Rita Simmel, and great interfaith colleagues and leaders like my friend uh, Beth Singer and Archbishop Cordelione, and the great uh, the great Amos Brown, a true hero in civil rights for, for so many decades, uh, the last, one of the last actual students of Martin Luther King and the only class that he ever taught. So I am here among many faith leaders uh, as one. I also uh, come at the end of this great celebration, and I knew it would be what it has been, that is, tremendous leaders, not only of California, but of the United States, drawing from their own broken-hearted place to provide comfort to Mayor Lee's family, his immediate family, his extended family, and also, as Gavin Newsom said, to his staff and the mayors who worked with him, all of whom are broken-hearted as are we all. This was all meant to be a celebration that provided what is called a balm. There is a balm in Gilead. Grief does not end, though, on schedule. It doesn't go away at the end of a beautiful service like this. These words, I pray, will lodge in your hearts and feed you and nourish you and comfort you in years and days to come. Presiding over us are not only the stars and stripes of our great country, but the flag of our great city, the greatest city in our country. And on our flag, to my left, above us, is the phoenix, our symbol. It is the symbol of rebirth and new life. It was given to us as a sign of what a community can do in faith together, pulling together in love, the only virtue that never ends. But it is also about individual rebirth. The phoenix is a symbol not only for communities, but for individual people. And the power that brings new life is not the power of pulling together or of self-will and determination, but the power that guides the universe. That power, which is love, will ensure that Ed Lee lives forever. Not only in memory, but in truth. I'm going to read a psalm a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Please stand as you're able. Into your hands, O merciful God, we commend your servant Edwin. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold. 
the lamb of your own flock. Receive him into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Grant, O Lord, to all who are bereaved the spirit of faith and courage, that they may have strength to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience, not sorrowing as those without hope, but in thankful remembrance of your great goodness and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. And this we ask in the name of God. Amen. Now, go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render unto no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Comfort the afflicted. Be patient with everyone, but make no peace with oppression. Love and serve the divine, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the source of all life, the direction of all life, and the goal of all life, be among you and remain with you forever.